What's going on, my wonderful Chinchilla family? This is your boy Retro Queen, and we're back up in this thing, continuing the Chinchilla reactions. And today we got Chinchilla Bounce Back. It's one of her newer songs that came out a couple of weeks ago, but I'm finally getting around to getting to it. But we're finna go ahead and check it out, man. Chinchilla Bounce Back. <laughs> She, I love how animated she be in her videos and stuff too, but on it to me it seems like she kind of taking a shot at the industry. But I don't, I don't know though, cause I do think she is independent, and um, if she is independent, that that kind of ties into it even more. But I, I want to talk about her outfit real quick too, because I remember y'all were telling me that she either made her own outfits or she got somebody to make them, because um, she kind of suffered from a lot of stage fright and stuff, or like you know, real bad anxiety and stuff. And having those outfits and stuff on it kind of help, kind of help her out a lot when she um you know kind of performing on the stage or making shooting these videos and stuff like that. So I want to keep it in mind and all uh, y'all kind of let me know what's the thought process behind this particular outfit right here because all of her outfits have a like a real particular theme to it too. So I want to keep that in mind. But maybe I could figure it out too. I don't know. But I, it's, I think she's taking a shot at the industry though. Like that early 20s and it seemed like my life slipping through the cracks but i bounced back ah, i like that i like that and it, it, to me it seemed like she kind of giving us um kind of like some rock some rock vibes and that's what i'm kind of getting into undertone beats and stuff when they're coming in too so i like that too she way different way Got different me down with the rats rats down in the sewer but you i'm not gonna let what y'all got going on pull me down suck the life out of me take all of my energy So that that's that's my favorite part so far. Like when she's just saying like her life slipping through the cracks, but she bounced back. And um, like like I told y'all before, I love trying to follow Chinchilla on um, music and stuff, or you know just the lyrics that she's saying in her music because 
a lot of times it seems like she's speaking in that third person form. So it kind of gives you that chance to, you know, really lock in and get an understanding of like, is she talking about herself? Is she speaking on someone else? Is she speaking to herself through someone else? Like it is so many different things that go through your mind. But I do remember that y'all told me she does speak in third person a lot in which, um, it, it to me, it kind of seems like self motivational type things. You know, she telling herself, you know, I'm, I'm a bounce back. I'm a bounce back. No matter what life throws at me, no matter how things go with the music or dealing with these different labels and stuff, you know, all of the different stuff in life. No, I ain't gonna let like, no matter how all this stuff slipping through the crack or seem like it's slipping through the crack, I'm gonna continue to bounce back. And it's, that's just her telling herself, like, you got this, stay strong. You can bounce back. I'm gonna continue to bounce back. Like, I like that. She did what she had to do in there. She left. <laughs> but I'm, I'm wondering though, like, cause she she had some specific lines in there. You know, it it just like just from her talking and stuff, it seemed like she taking shots at the industry. And um, which I'm I'm just kind of going out on a limb and just assuming, cause I know with a lot of the independent artists, they have it rougher than what well, I don't even want to say rougher, but it sometimes it's harder for them to you know become mainstream or they have it's like they have to work way way harder they have to grind a lot more put themselves out there a lot more because they don't have that machine behind them backing them and stuff and i'm, I'm wondering has she had any run-ins with labels and stuff you know maybe you know making promises to her or kind of rubbed her the wrong way or people not want to give her a chance because she is independent so it it, it just seemed like she's taking a shot at them and you know just also letting them know i'm a, I'm a bounce back telling herself too i'm gonna bounce back no matter what i'm i'm gonna bounce back but y'all have to let me know though and um also let me know again is she really independent um i, I think she is independent and i believe y'all did tell me that she was independent but y'all kind of you know just kind of fill me in on that and also let me know about the outfit and stuff too but i i, I kind of feel like that's that's where we're going or that's the route that she's going with this like just just kind of giving a quick little jab at the industry, quick little jab at the record labels and stuff. But I, I could be wrong. It, it, it could be something totally different. But hopefully y'all enjoy that. Y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive and stay smiling as always. This is your boy Retro Quinn. I'm out.